Let me guess. You here because you just logged on Apple's website and logged immediately the hell off when you realize how much the MacBooks are currently running. Now you are trying to find affordable alternatives and somehow you stumbled upon back market. Not to be mistaken for back page or black planet. <laughs> because I know I'm not the only one who was thinking like this. So get your mind out the gutter. And you researching led you straight here to me, right? Okay, I thought so, I thought so. Well, if that's the case, so you can go ahead and thumbs up this video because I already know you're going to like it. The tea will definitely be served. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, girl. I'm the one who we purchased it from eBay, Macari, Poshmark, Craigslist, OfferUp, AliExpress, DHgate, thrift stores, clearance rack. Call me frugal franny, honey. I'm half no shim. I ain't gonna lie, now Apple swindled me this year to pay full price for my iPhone 13 Pro. And honey, I will never do that again. In today's video, I'm gonna share my experience with ordering from the company Bat Market. I know your first question is, honey, what is Bat Market? What is it exactly? Well, from my knowledge, it's basically a platform that is used to be able to sell items on. There's companies, there's people who are selling electronics. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little leery. I did so much research, honey. I searched high and low because I wanted to be sure that. So with my experience, this company is definitely legit. I am gonna say that there are different sellers that are selling on this platform. So you will not get the same experience as I got, sus got, the man down the street guy. I ordered a MacBook Pro Retina 13.3, so a 13 inch screen, 2020 Core i7 with 512 gigabytes from the seller Omaha Blue or something like that. So I'm gonna put it here right here on the screen because I don't wanna butcher the name. I decided to order the fair condition and the seller ratings were about 4.3, I believe, out of five stars. I really, 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 really love that this particular website offers a one-year warranty with your purchases. So at least it gives you a little bit more comfort. Just a little bit more. Now, the price of the computer was $853.99. I did go ahead and purchase the extended warranty, which was $99.99 for an extra additional year. Honey, I wanted all the coverage I can get, okay? I just want to be sure. You just never know. Because sometimes these computers uh, do right up until that one, that warranty, that first one is up. And then it starts, you know, showing its whole as far as shipping goes, I placed my order on the 19th of October. The item was shipped on the 20th, and I received my package via UPS on the 24th. If it wasn't for the weekend hating on me, I probably would have been had my laptop. Now, I did mention earlier that I purchased the fair condition, and I'm so glad I did. I know a lot of reviews that I've seen, people were going with good, some were going with excellent. But, honey, I see no, no issues, no um scratches no dents or dings or indentations or sticky um laptop buttons and keyboards or anything like i have not experienced anything the only thing i seen was like these little it's like a little bit of scarring on the back of my map but who the hell gonna be looking at the back of my back book Okay, I'm not concerned about the bed, honey. I just want to make sure that the hardware, the software, all that type of stuff is doing what it's supposed to do, okay? Especially for the coin that I spent. Now, you don't have to spend that much. If you're on a budget, especially if you're a new YouTuber, or gamer, get what's best for you. And that's what I really loved about this website because you can actually filter down exactly to specifically of what you're wanting to spend, what you need, what you're looking for. It takes me to how do you actually shop on this platform? Well, there's like three lines up, horizontal lines in the corner this is where you will figure out which macbook you're looking for i went for the macbook pro after that you will be able to narrow it down to which year i went for 2020 i just wanted something in the 2000s i knew i wanted something that was a little bit later in years instead of the earlier models you know how apple do once they come out with something new everything else start acting up might i add that the the laptop that i had before was a 2015 it did really well and i got it from ebook as a pre-owned it lasted for about three years, I think. 
I think it was three years. And here I am now. Based on like storage, how much storage you need. Uh, honey, I'm gonna tell you that storage runs out quick. So make sure you're going up a little bit more than what you think you need. You just filter it down by price. If you only have $500, baby, filter it down to $500. That way you don't see anything that goes above that amount. Do your research on the condition you want, your screen size, keyboard layout, processor type, memory storage, graphics card storage, um, the type or model that you're looking for, what delivery time, if it's retina or not, uh, the, the OS, the OS compatibility, warranty included, delivery time, all of that matters, all of that you have options to choose from, all of this will help you narrow down and decide which computer it is that you actually want to purchase. I pretty much did a whole lot of research. I watched a, a whole lot of tech videos on YouTube here. I'm going to link a few down below. I know some, some people may feel like $800 is pretty high for a refurbished mat, but not in my opinion, because I did my research to compare the pricing of this particular device how much it will cost if I went through Apple Refurbish, if I went through uh, Amazon's little plan that they have, compared prices, and honey, I feel like I got it for a steal, to be honest with you, especially for what it has on there. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie, honey. Call me frugal friendly, but baby, I don't mind saving, and I was not looking to spend $1,500 or something dollars with Apple. I wasn't looking to do that again, honey. Hell to the no. As far as the experience that I've had so far, setup was easy breezy. The packaging came in this white big box. The MacBook was in bubble wrap. It was packaged to the gods, okay, if that's even a thing, was in his own little seat belt. And I really, I'm really glad that they took great time and efforts into securing my device. Um, once I got it from out of the packaging, I pretty much went ahead and just start up the setup. Once I opened it, it was already turned on. Everything was ready to go. The setup was fine. I, I set up within a few minutes. It, it wasn't that long as well. Um, I went ahead and added the apps that I need, that I love to use. I also went ahead and started browsing the website. I just set it up, personalized it as my own. Everything went well. I tried out the speakers. Make sure you're trying your device out as soon as you get it, honey, okay? I tried the speakers. I tried the, the using the pad. I tried asking Siri something. I tried the little touch bar thing. I was trying everything to make sure that all the keys are functioning. The computer is not laggy, not dragging, not, not responding, not loading. Whatever the case could be, I was making sure of that. The experience that I had with this MacBook, honey, is like I just went and pulled up to the store. I did not have any complications or issues when I was setting up. I haven't had any complications or issues since I've actually been using this. And it's been about a week or so. We all know that sh act right in the beginning. <laughs> we all know that, but I have high hopes that this device will, you know, do what it's supposed to do, you know, and accordingly. My recommendations is most definitely looking into the seller's information. Look for the ratings. Some of these companies had some really, really great ratings. And then you had some that was pretty like, mm, you know, so you just have to lose your discernment on who is best. Watch a lot of YouTube reviews, figure out if this company is even best for you. But I'm going to tell you here, honey, that with this experience that I've had, I'm definitely going to be using this site way more. I recently purchased a iPhone XR or something like that for my son. I just need my son to be able to call me and I can be able to track his ass. I went with something inexpensive. That actually arrived and I have not set everything up as of yet, but I'm going to do a video with that as well. If you're willing to come back later on and let you guys know with an update how many months you think I should come back and let you know if you have additional questions leave them down in the comments I'm willing to make a second video answering some of these questions that I may have not answered in this video but I'm pretty sure I hit the nail on the head with answering as much questions or concerns that I feel like I had when I was researching. If you have ordered from this company, come on down in the comments and talk to me and share your experience, honey. I talk back and you know everybody goes straight to the comments, boo. And I hope that I made you feel just a little bit more comfortable with making your purchase. Now, this is a unsponsored review. I, I should have said this in the beginning. I spot my own coin for these items and everything that I'm saying is all honesty, honey. One thing about over here on this side of town, the honesty is there. Okay. So I do, however, have a refer a friend code or something like that they gave me once I make my purchase. So I'm going to link it down in the comments below or pin it down in the comments, baby. You can save you $10 on your first purchase. A savings is a savings and the girls and boys who get it, get it. Okay, so make sure you take advantage of that. If you felt them good vibes while you were here and you gained a lot of knowledge, baby, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. It's always a good time, good vibes here. If you made it to the end of this 
video be sure to put this emoji here in the comments down below baby that's how i'm gonna know it's real i want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video until next time later